When when did you meet yeah. Daddy Yankee? Like when was that? When I was like, I could say uh, like thirteen or fourteen years old. Yeah, I met Daddy Yankee when I was. Question: yeah. Who coined the phrase reggaeton? Daddy Yankee. Mm. That's what I said. But then Daddy my Yankee. man said somebody else earlier, and I was space? like, yo, yeah, no, I said it was Who Daddy was it Yankee. So they were doing reggae though. I, I, I don't know. No, no. Now you don't know. Uh, but there's yeah. something with a no. ring. It's crazy to argue. DJ, DJ, DJ Nelson, DA Nelson no, did a Google song. Did. And Daddy mm -hmm. Yankee said reggaeton for the first time in a song. Para que escuche reggaeton. Sí, he yeah, said it for yes. the first time. He, he put the name reggaeton. Mm -hmm. And then after that, they started calling it reggaeton. reggaeton. But Daddy Yankee so was the one. So he coined the phrase first. Right. Yeah, and he that's huge. He did it first. That is huge. That's crazy. That's like calling hip hop hip hop. Exactly. Like, exactly. That's exactly. Fire. That's crazy. You know, so after so, he said it in the song, it was like it's reggaeton. So what what was it? Like? How'd you meet and how'd I get close? Like when you Well, met like I, I was a fan, you know what I'm saying? I was a big fan. I was listening to his music. Like he every time okay, so these playeros were like the biggest mixtapes in the streets. So every time they came out, Daddy Yankee was the first one on the mixtape, and he would go hard. Like, they, if, if everybody had, like, a minute in the mixtape, he always had, like, three minutes, and he was, like, the first one there. And, and you know, his songs were fucking hits. They were upbeat songs, you know what I'm saying? So I remember I was always trying to get to clubs to get to him. Because it was hard, you know? He was kind of like, he was, he was something. He was, <laughs> yeah, he was hard, hard, yeah, yeah. Man. And I was a little kid, and be like, yo, let me meet Daddy Yankee. And be yeah. like, yeah, come on, man, get the fuck yeah, out of here. Yeah, back up, yeah. You gonna meet Daddy Yankee. And I got an album. Though. One day, one day, um, I went to a club, and for some, I was lucky. He was there at the club. He was chilling in the corner. He's, he's always been like, you know, a low-key guy. He was drinking a little, I don't know, juice, because he never, like, he wasn't a drinker or none of that shit. And... And I and I and I and I, and I pull his shirt like yo, that Yankee. Yeah. And he looks at me like, oh, I know who you are. You that little kid. He's like, <laughs> yeah. like what you do, bro. You good. Yeah. And I, yo, for me, <laughs> that was oh, it. I made it. That was it. Yo, shit, I was like, yo, he know my shit. <laughs> he didn't really know my shit. He went. <laughs> me, that's enough. I'll take it. Yo, I'll take me, it. Me, 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 me. Was yeah. like, yo, I was, I was sleeping and I saw his hands when he go. <laughs> and I told my, I woke up my dad, I'm like, yo, dad, that Yankee saw me. <laughs> Kill me with that shit, bro. Yeah. And then for some weird reason, we went to another show and I was opening, I was opening up for him, the show, and he saw me and he said, you know, oh, no, 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 no. The second time I saw him, I had a song called Descontrol. It was, it was, okay, so I recorded all the playeros and they always erased me. So this, this is how it happened. You would record on the, on the mixtape, right? Mm -hmm. And then I would tell the whole neighborhood, I'm, I'm on, on the new playero. Yeah, no. And they'd be like, yo, Nicky's on the new playero. Yeah, no. yeah. When the fucking playero came out, <laughs> they took me out of the yeah. fucking playero. So I was a liar like for four playeros. <laughs> liar. <laughs> Straight up fucking liar. I would go record it and say, yes, you're coming out. <laughs> Boom, for some reason, get this kid out of here. Mm -hmm. So it was like 36, the 30, volume 36, volume 37, volume 38, volume 39. Volume 40, so it was five years me being a liar in my mm. in my hood. Wow. Everybody like this lie, he's talking shit. And yeah. I was I would record, I would go to the to Playero's uh, studio that was in the hood, record my, my my song, and he was like, You staying, everybody and then I would call people like you said. So the 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 volume 41, the biggest song was my song. Nice. The biggest hit was my song. I'm talking about Which this is me. Record? It was called Descontrol. Okay, okay, okay. And and, and the, the thing, the funny thing is, I didn't even know it was popping. I went to the club and I was just hanging out in the club and I heard this intro because I didn't hear it. Be the first guy that played it was, uh, you know, like they they were, only some DJs had it. Right. So it was like toda la mujer. And I saw everybody, and I was like. Yeah. <laughs> Another one of those me. moments. <laughs> and they were screaming a song. I'm like, oh shit. Yo, you don't know how I felt, bro. Yeah. I was like, what the fuck? And people, and the thing is, the beat was so badass. It was like, yo, it's not only me, like, it was me on a good beat. Because right. I did so many bullshit music yeah. in the past. Yeah. It was the first time it was me on a good beat. To, to make it more crazier, guess who's in the club? Daddy, Daddy Yankee. Yankee. Fire. And he sees all that wow. shit. He's like, oh, let's go. And he goes to me and I said, 
I'm proud of you, bro. No, no, he didn't think he'd do it. He yeah. looked at me, he said. No, mini, mini. No, because my voice already was like, I already had, like, yeah. I was like 15, 16, so yeah. I had a better voice and I could sing and I could do a little melodies and shit and yeah. rap. He was like, What are you gonna do next week? And I'm like, What? Nothing. What do you need? He's like, I'm going to Dominican Republic. You wanna be my backup singer? Bro, come on, man. <laughs> I know all your fucking... Let's go to fucking yeah, Dominican yeah, yeah. Republic. For me, that was huge. huge. That's crazy. But probably somebody else here is like, what, man? You got a hit song and this motherfucker asking you to back... Nah, he was no, like... He was big. At the he, time. he was bigger. So he was like, come with me. And, you know, and you can sing your song. Yeah. And I'm like... So it's like taking you on tour, basically. Yeah. So when I went on stage with Yankee and he started singing this song, and he saw me go toe-to-toe with him, and automatically was magic. People wow. loved to see the combination of me and him. Wow. And for some reasons, me, we were two, me, that, Daddy Yankee and me, we were both like, you know, good looking kids that, you know, we, we, had, we had that shit that you didn't see that in the game, mm-hmm. in the wow. music, in the music game. In those years, everybody would look like, like rough. everybody was <laughs> rough looking. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So we did that. We came out with that. And after that, he, he signed me. Now I'm trying to make the, the story shorter, so yeah, we nah, finished nah, we, we yeah. finished that that tour in the Dominican Republic, and he's like, "Yo, Nikki, I want to sign you, bro." And I'm like, "Fuck yeah, bro! What the fuck you waiting for? I'm like, let's do this shit." <laughs> yeah. And he gave me in those days five thousand dollars, and I'm gonna tell you something. That was a lot of money. That was in 1998. Yes, bro. 98 for me. I I've never seen that money in, in those days. You know what I'm saying? I was a kid. You know what I'm saying? The twenty thousand dollars I'm telling you is when, when I was already famous and I did a whole bunch okay, of hits. Okay, okay, okay. Right. That was say you after got twenty bands. No, no, right. twenty bands was way after. That okay, was in okay, two thousand. Okay. That was in two thousand and two, three when okay, the okay. business right. got bigger. Okay. This was my idea. But you gotta understand why. I'm gonna take you there. Why? This, okay, this okay. is the thing. When he gave me those five thousand dollars and I signed for five thousand wow. dollars, as soon as he gave me that money. We started recording in the studio. He had he, he opened his label called El Cartel uh, Records. Something happened that the whole, they they took all our music out the radio. The government wa- wasn't they were against our music, yeah. so we got fucked. The whole system got fucked. Like they would even go to cars and break CDs. And, like cops could stop you. Was that the thing you. where they would raid That's places? And yeah, 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 yeah. Kind of like you know, kind of like um, like a drug. Yeah, 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 when they would try to ban but, it. Okay, so this happened in Puerto Rico in those days. So they would stop people and they would get the CDs. That were police would break it and shit. We fought it. Freedom of speech, yeah. and shit got better, but it took a long time for the radio stations to put on music. Well, y'all shit was too vulgar or dangerous or violent. Like, what, what was it? It was vulgar. It was vulgar as fuck. It was vulgar as fuck. It was exciting, right? I mean, it's still so vulgar. Culo, teta, CDs, esto, lo yeah. Otro. Yeah. yeah, like we yeah. would talk about <laughs> pussy, <laughs> this, all that shit. We was like hard because that combi completa song. Yeah. That shit was like it can <laughs> be hard. Like I want the whole. <laughs> I, I, I want pussy <laughs> ass titty. Go like everything. That shit was hard. That's what y'all said. It was too pretty. That's the hook. That's, That's the, the damn hook. hook. That was the I, want, I want the whole. It I says the, I want the whole hey. uh, combo. Yeah. It sounds combo. weird in, hey. in English, but it's hey. like I want the whole hey. combo. What? Ass, pussy, titties. <laughs> yeah. Yo, that's still, that's still a fire hook right now. Yeah. 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 Somebody yeah. might was, remake yeah. that right now. Like, I'm going to put that tomorrow. Let's just, just, just send me your idea. <laughs> no 20 bang anymore. No 20 bang. <laughs> so I want the whole combination. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that so so what happened was. When when I told you about the twenty bands and all that for doing songs okay, and okay. albums and and that's when the reggaeton already came back again and it was okay. doing money and it was bigger than ever in Puerto Rico. This the five thousand dollars it was like three or four years before okay. all that. Mm-hmm. So after that, I wasn't singing for, for I wasn't singing with Daddy Yankee as a duo. I was just his singer that he signed. Mm. So when the thing happened that they were fucking with our music and they don't want us to play in the radio and all that shit, he, he was like, yo, Nikki, you know what, bro? I know you, I gave you that money, but you can forget it, bro. This shit is fucked up right now. And I don't know what the fuck am I, I'm going to do right now. And I, I, don't, I don't think I, I have the energy to, you know, be your uh, manager and take care of you and all that shit. I just, just leave it like that. I'm like, you fucking crazy, bro? I'll rock with you no matter what. Fuck mm. all this music shit. Fuck all the money. Let's fucking do Let's. You know what, bro? Let's do a song together. 
And he's like, yeah, yeah, let's fucking do it. And we started doing songs together, bro. And then, boom. The boom. combination. People, so I was back. the melody, and he was like the hardcore, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and that's yeah. where Los Cangri came out. Mm -hmm. Los Cangri. They call it Los Cangri, and uh, we did a whole bunch of songs. And then after that was when Nicky went fucking crazy and lost it, bro. That's... That's when I went. That's drugs. when the money started rolling. Street in. shit was going on. I was in the. I was going fucking crazy. This hot for trap trapper turn smack rapper. Only smack rapper that you know is smack rappers. Got bars I can hang with the backpackers. Trap star I don't hang with the backpackers. I'm in the hood with the work you heard. Making fiends leave earth you heard. Got your baby mama thirst you heard. Feel the flow nigga throw it in reverse. This the way you need to surf you heard. Told Jim I need a bomb I could drop on you niggas. Bad boy I'm never gonna stop for you niggas. I don't give a fuck who you got as the illest. I solidify my spot with the now I'm proud that you